is Old Newbie from the Old Newbie VR Show, and today is a sad day. Today is the day where I have to finally admit that Windows Mixed Reality is going away. Now, if you're a subscriber and a follower of this channel, you know that I love Windows Mixed Reality. If you look at half of my videos that I have posted here, they all have to do with help and support with Windows Mixed Reality. Um, all my videos and my personal headset is Windows Mixed Reality. And you know my frustration with Microsoft and trying them to get to utilize Windows Mixed Reality to its full potential because it's got a lot of potential. Microsoft was a industry leader when it came to them creating Windows Mixed Reality, their headsets, and they just hit the right sweet spot with the right amount of new innovative technology, the right price point, the right ease of use. Windows Mixed Reality was pretty much set to be probably one of the industry leaders when it came to VR and probably pushing towards AR. Um, for the user but microsoft in their usual fashion came out with something great and then abandoned it now the signs were there i must admit that i i tried to push back and i tried not to believe them but the signs were there first when microsoft fired their head of windows mixed reality then all of their technology that they were developing they seemed to just completely give away to meta a lot of those programs, a lot of the technology, like the uh, the Windows Mixed Reality keyboard, that technology went over to um, to Meta, and then um, what else? Uh, the, the the software, the Microsoft Mesh software, them coming out with um, the Office products going over to Meta, and then now them talking about the Xbox Game Pass going over to Meta. All of that stuff could have been done on Windows Mixed Reality, but they completely ceded the market to Meta. And so here we are, Windows Mixed Reality finally official announced that Windows Mixed Reality is depreciated. So if you look here, what I have on the screen where it says that right here in this box that Windows Mixed Reality is depreciated and will be removed from Windows 11 starting from version 24H2. Now, I've been on Reddit and I've seen people still to this day asking about whether Windows Mixed Reality, what's happening with Windows Mixed Reality. But here you have it here, official from Microsoft, saying that Windows Mixed Reality will be depreciated and removed from Windows 11. And you see it right here, it will be removed in Windows 11 version 24H2. Now. That means if you install Windows 11 24H2, it will not have the Windows Mixed Reality portal. Your Windows Mixed Reality headset will not work, and they also get rid of their plugin for Steam VR. So Windows Mixed Reality will be completely removed if you install Windows 11 24H2. If you stay on Windows 11 23H2, then Windows Mixed Reality will continue to work and it will continue to work until November of 2026. After that point, Windows Mixed Reality will no longer receive any security updates, non-security updates, bug fixes or anything like that. So they will continue to support Windows Mixed Reality through November 2026. So if there's a bug, if something doesn't work, you can continue to report stuff on the Microsoft feedback and they will be obligated to fix it, at least according to this, to fix those issues and have all the security updates and, and all that stuff for Windows Mixed Reality until 2026. And then after that, there won't be any more support. Now, what that means is Windows Mixed Reality will continue to work in 2026. However, if there's an update that breaks some type of functionality, Microsoft won't fix it. So it will slowly start to break down after 2026 with all the different Windows updates that come and security fixes. But that said, if you stay on 23H2, Windows Mixed Reality will continue to work. Okay, so one of the other questions that I hear a lot about on there, all right, what if I have Windows 10? What about Windows 10? Well, with Windows 10, you're good to go. 
okay because windows 10 is not updating anymore after feature version 22h2 so 22h2 came out and microsoft is not going to do any more future versions so there will be no 23h2 for windows 10. windows 10 stops at 22h2 and windows mixed reality works with 22h2 so you're good to go if you're on windows 10. windows mixed reality will continue to work okay so now that we know that microsoft windows with mixed reality will actually work on 23h2 there is a way for you to stay on 23h2 on windows 11 so that you don't update to 24h2 and completely lose windows mixed reality portal and we're going to go over in this video how to stay on 23h2 and keep that as your feature set version so that you won't Microsoft won't push 24H2 to your computer. And there's several ways to do it. I'm going to go over the, the easiest way and the, the quickest way to actually stay on it. And, and it's actually the most, um, I guess, proven way to actually stay on 23H2 and not update and not automatically update and not get pushed to 24H2 and lose your Windows Mixed Reality. So if you're on Windows 11 Pro, there is... A tool an administrative tool called group policy editor and group policy editor will allow you to affix your Windows 11 Pro version on 23h2 so here's how you do it okay so the easiest way to actually do this is to go into your search bar and you write the words GP edit GP edit and then GP edit will bring up this the group policy editor and you just click on that and it'll bring up this thing and you'll see it it says local group policy editor okay and that's what you want to that's what you want to be in and so now you go down to administrative templates windows components and then you scroll down to Windows Update. And then from Windows Update, you'll see Manage Updates Offered from Windows Update. So you click on that. All right, and now you move over to this window. And in this window, you'll see something that says, Select the Target Feature Update Version. Now, if you haven't done this before, it will show as non-configured, but I've already done mine. And so it says enabled, but you want to double click on this, select the target feature update version. So you click on that and then this new window will open. And so the first thing you do is you want to enable it, click enable. And then you go down here and this is all you need to do is you type in windows 11, just like I have it, capital W windows space 11, and then the target version for feature updates, 23 h2 with a capital h and that's all you need to do just put that in there windows 11 and 23 h2 you click apply and it will show here as enabled and that's it and you're good to go and so now your windows 11 pro version will be stuck or will be set at 23 h2 and microsoft will not push 24 h2 to your computer and wipe out your windows mixed reality now this server update that's if you're actually running a um that's if you're actually running a, an, an update server which you're not we're just get we're getting as home users we're just getting all of our updates from microsoft being pushed via windows update so this is the only one you need now notice i was saying i was specifically saying windows mixed reality or i was specifically saying windows 11 pro because windows 11 home does not have the gp or the group policy editor installed in it so you will have to manually install the group policy editor into windows home and so how do you do that this is here and this quick out and i'll post a link to this in the, in the in the bottom below but but basically 
what you have to do is go into a go into a uh, a terminal window or the command prompt and you have to type in these two commands and what this will do this will go out to the microsoft server and it will pull down the component for the group policy editor and install it into your windows home and then after it installs the it installs it into your windows home then you can just run gp edit and then just go through the previous steps that i have explained to you and so that will install it into your windows 11 home and you'll be able to keep your windows 11 home at 23h2 as well so that's it i hope that helps somebody out there i know again it's a sad day that we have to admit that windows mixed reality is going away but these steps right here will help you keep windows mixed reality for the duration definitely out into 2026 where we'll be able to get bug fixes and updates and then on beyond after 2026 where you'll be you'll still be able to keep your windows mixed reality but it will slowly start to break down over time but at least out until then maybe it'll be time to get a new headset maybe meta will have pushed ahead and there'll be new headsets on the market hopefully that are as innovative and as great as windows mixed reality was okay that's all i wanted to cover thanks for tuning in remember to like and subscribe subscribe we're on our way we've got 80 subscribers we're on our way to 100 subscribers so let's push through let's get the channel up there and then we'll hit our next milestone and then hopefully we'll be able to push on through and then lord willing we'll be able to get that a thousand subscriber that gold a thousand subscriber to get our channel a uh, part of the partner program but until then thanks for thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in vr